Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I hope everyone is good and healthy. Today we are going to talk about interesting interview which Tom Shippey gave on 29th of July in 2019. Tom Shippey is probably the best Tolkien professor since he is investigating Tolkien for decades. At the start of the interview he is talking about the very first trailer we got from Amazon that has shown us the team behind Lord of the Rings on Prime. In the opening part, Shippy is discussing the trailer itself, so we will skip that part. When we continue reading the article, we see the most important part. Journalist is asking, does Amazon have a free hand in the interpretation? Shippy says, Amazon has a relatively free hand when it comes to adding something, since, as I said, very few details are, are known about this time span. The Tolkien estate will insist that the main shape of the second age is not altered. Sauron invades Eriador, is forced back by a Numenorian expedition, then he returns to Numenor, and then he corrupts the Numenorians and seduces them to break the ban of the Valar. All this, the course of history must remain the same. But can you add new characters and ask a lot of questions like what was Sauron doing in the meantime, where was he after Morgoth was defeated? He said, theoretically, Amazon can answer these questions by inventing the answers since Tolkien did not describe it, but it must not contradict anything which Tolkien did say. That's what Amazon has to watch out for. It must be canonical, it's impossible to change the boundaries which Tolkien has created, it is necessary to remain Tolkienian. Now, as we scroll down, even more important question. Does the Tolkien estate have a veto on the changes? Shippy responds, yes, the Tolkien estate keeps a very careful eye on everything and is quite capable of saying no, they retain a veto over everything that concerns Tolkien. The next question is about first and the third age. Shippy says, the first and third ages are off limits, you can't have the first age. Events could be mentioned at the most if they explain the events of the second age, but if it is not described or mentioned in Lord of the Rings or in the appendices, they cannot use it. So the question is, to what extent they may hint at events that took place, for example, in the first age, but still continue to affect the second age. There are several maps authorized by Tolkien, not just the ones we are familiar with. And some of those maps have places on them which are not in the other maps, but if Tolkien authorized them, then that's okay. So if it is a bit of minefield, you have to tread very carefully, but at the same time there is quite a lot of scope for interpretation and free invention. He then proceeds to answer some of the questions we already know, for example about production and filming locations. But as we already know, they have the rights only for Fellowship of the Ring, the Two Towers, the Return of the King, the Appendices and the Hobbit. And that's it. By the way guys, you can find the article in the link below the video. So these first parts that we covered are the most important ones, because as Shippy has said 3 years ago, they can only invent the answers since Tolkien did not describe it, but it must not contradict anything Tolkien said. That is what Amazon has to watch out for. Now I am really curious, because apparently all this time Tolkien Estate had veto and they didn't use it at all, even after they see the trailer and stuff like that, so maybe they are waiting for official trailer, maybe they are waiting to see the first season, we will see, but they had veto and they still didn't use it, so we will see about that. And that will be all for today guys, we will see what they will do with the show. If it doesn't completely suck it will be higher than my expectation and I assume your expectation. So thank you for your attention and see you soon, stay safe guys, bye!